Chronic pyelonephritis is where there is chronic inflammation of renal tubules and interstitium with scarring associated with pathological involvement of the renal calyces and pelvis. An important feature of chronic pyelonephritis is nephron loss. Chronic pyelonephritis is the commonest cause of end-stage chronic renal failure, accounting for 5 to 15 percent of cases. Chronic pyelonephritis may be caused by reflux or obstruction. Reflux nephropathy is the commonest cause of chronic pyelonephritis. The condition is congenital starting in childhood. There is reflux of urine from the bladder up the ureters and this leads to chronic inflammation with scarring and manifests itself in early adulthood. This is an example of chronic pyelonephritis. The kidney is shrunken due to loss of nephrons and this has resulted in a narrowed cortex and medulla. Obstructive nephropathy is caused by obstruction of the pelvic drainage. This may be unilateral or bilateral and the obstruction may be congenital due to posterior urethral valves. Another cause of obstructive nephropathy is conditions such as stones and tumour. The two major causes of damage due to obstructive nephropathy are increased pressure of urine causing atrophy of the renal parenchyma and infection. In chronic pyelonephritis there is scarring of the kidneys, distortion of the calyces, the kidneys may become hydronephrotic. Histologically there is chronic interstitial inflammation and fibrosis with atrophy of tubules and sclerosis of glomeruli. This kidney shows the typical gross appearances of chronic pyelonephritis. There is a rather granular external surface and areas of scarring. This is the histological appearance of a kidney affected by chronic pyelonephritis. There is atrophy of tubules and many of the tubules contain pink secretions resembling the asini of thyroid. This is called thyroidization. As well as a chronic inflammatory infiltrate in the kidney interstitium, you can see sclerosis of the glomeruli. Tuberculous pyelonephritis may be caused by solitary foci of TB in the kidney or by involvement of the kidney in cases of miliary TB. Solitary tuberculous renal lesions may be associated with TB elsewhere. The infection is initially renal. This then ruptures into the pelvic haliceal system causing TB ureteritis, cystitis, prostatitis and epididymoorchitis. A mass of calcified caseation may replace the kidney and this may result in chronic renal failure eventually if both kidneys are infected. This kidney shows the typical features of tuberculous pyelonephritis. The chalky white deposits in this testis is an example of TB epididymoorchitis. Tuberculous pyelonephritis due to miliary TB is part of a systemic miliary TB infection. There are huge numbers of scattered small granulomas throughout the kidneys and the condition is rapidly fatal.